Hi guys, welcome back to Lost LHLA and in today's video I'm going to be showing you every basic thing you need to know about iMovie, how to use it, and little tips and tricks about how you can make your videos better quality and better editing. <laughs> So before the video starts, make sure you subscribe down below, click the bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you think it will help you. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I opened up the iMovie app, and I'm going to click on Projects, and I'm going to click on the plus sign in Projects, and I'm going to do a movie, because that's what you want to do for your videos. I'm going to select all the clips that I want in my video. Um, this video is going to be what I'm making for my personal channel. The link may be in the description, so check there. And then I'm going to click Create Movie. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is get the transitions to be different. That's like how it goes from each clip. So this is the transition, like that, that's how it gets from the, to the other clip. Look at the many ones that are at the bottom. Um, you may notice that it says 0 0.5 seconds, 1 second, 1.5 seconds. You can change how long it is. It's a very useful tool. I personally like to use none, but you can do whatever. On the slide and wipe, you can change it to slide and wipe a different way. And on the fade, it can fade to black or it can fade to white. To adjust the volume, you can just click on the clip and then go to like the volume at the bottom. And you can make it up or down depending on what you want. I'm making this in more slow motion or actually less because it looks like I'm pouring out a lot of water. When I'm really only pouring out just a little bit. So, that's that. Um, actually, what I did was the first scene was a fail, so I had to delete it. Um, I wanted to zoom in on that water drop that fell. So, what I'm going to do is at the starting of where it is about to fall, I'm going to split it. And then at the end, I'm going to split it. Then, at the very top of your screen right now, or the screen... There is like a thing that you can click and you can pinch to zoom wherever you want. So I'm just going to zoom right in on the drop and then watch. But I want to add like a filter to it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on it. Then at the very bottom, it's the very right one. Um, it looks like three little circles so I can change it now. I just picked that one, um, then yeah. Now I'm trying to make this look like I'm not pouring out as much water, so I'm going to click it and go to the little time thing and make it faster, so that way I'm not pouring out, like, a whole entire gallon. Now, on this one, I couldn't hear what I said, so I just turned the volume up to five. Drink your water. Now I have a montage of me doing dishes but I want to speed it up even more than the time lapse, so I'm going at the bottom and speeding it up by two, so now it is incredibly fast. I want to add text to say dishes montage, so I went to the T and picked my font, and now I'm typing it in. Also, at the bottom, it you can make it on like the bottom left corner, and if you pick the one that um says none or whatever, then it, you can make it opening in the front or in the back or it's pretty cool to go add music click on the add then the audio then theme music i'm not going to use any of this music because it's not the type of music i'm looking for and i'm going to show you different ways to music. um there's also sound effects but that comes later in the video so in order to get no copyrighted music you can literally search on youtube no copyright music um i searched no copyright peaceful music because i needed peaceful music for this one you can be more specific or less you can actually also make your own music in garage band but i'll probably show you how to do that in another video so 
um, you're just going to go to the very beginning of where you want the audio to start. Then click the plus sign and add the audio with like the screen recording of the audio. Then you can click on the audio and then click duplicate. I meant, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, detach. Then it, you'll have the audio detached. Go to the very beginning of the audio and you're going to press and hold it. And then just drag it to where you want it to be. Now that technique actually does take some practice, so don't give up. Um, it's very helpful. Click it to the beginning, then you can delete it. Do Whatever you do, do not um, delete it first because it will just delete the audio. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what it does. And then the music is not very loud at the moment, but it still gives like a good effect. Some people want to know how you can make the music only go to a certain part. Let's pretend that I just want it. I'm going to add a photo right quickly after it. Um, so that way you can see like that's going to be like after it. I just want the music to end on the second to last clip. I don't want there to be any music. So I'm going to click on the audio, then click split, then go to the end where I want it to stop, and then click split, then click on the middle one, and I'm going to click the volume button and mute it. So now it sounds like that, and then it keeps going, and so I can just fix it back the way I need it because I don't need that extra picture, and I can just delete the audio. You can click fade to make it fade. It's pretty cool. The thing is, I want like an air horn sound effect right there, but they don't have the air horn. I could go back and screen record it, but I'm going to show you how you can use like sound effects. So I'm going to go to the foghorn. Um, I had to pick one out, but I hit the foghorn. Foghorn, foghorn, something like that. And then it'll make that noise. And then I'm just going to like well what you can do is you can click the end and then like scroll it backwards and it'll sound really good that is all for today's video thank you for watching and if you did enjoy and this did help you out please do give it a thumbs up and if you think that you would enjoy more types of videos like these subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos some links to some other tutorials and intro free mu intro non-copyright music is going to be left in the description i'll show you guys how to make intros outros edit photos, all that jazz, and other videos. If you need any personal help about how to use the basic iMovie skills, please leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you or even make a video about it. So, thank you. Bye!